I wanted to shoot this video, kind of an inspirational video about cooking because I'm here with my man Sam Griswold. I met Sam back in 2008 and Sam and I share one thing in common outside of playing blind baseball and that is that we're totally blind chefs. Sam and I can't see anything at all. We have no light perception so it's just totally black and I wanted to bring this inspirational video to you because I really think it's important to let you guys know what we're dealing with and even though we have these struggles, we're still getting in the kitchen and taking care of ourselves and providing for our families. Not only are we cooking for ourselves, but Sam here is cooking for a family of five. He's got two young boys and a beautiful young daughter as well as his, as well as his wife, Desiree. And Sam comes home after working eight hours, comes home and cooks for all five uh, for him and his family. And I really thought that that was inspirational and I wanted to bring this content to you to hopefully motivate you to get in the kitchen and start cooking a little bit better food uh, for yourself. So Sam, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Sam. I met Tanner back in uh, 2008 um, playing beat baseball. And uh, you know, I invited him over to my house tonight. We've been playing this for a while. What tonight we're going to do is um, cook a low carb dinner for you guys, um, cut up vegetables and make it happen in the kitchen tonight. Thanks so much, Sam. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a low carb chicken parm. So it's kind of a little low carb twist on an Italian favorite. We're also going to do an absolutely lean original side. I'm real excited about this because it's actually the first time I'm going to try it. BCTs, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. And then as well as our baked vegetables. Key is, like I said, always move your hands. Sam, did you used to cook a lot before you lost your sight? No, you know, you could see you can always go to fast food restaurants, bro. I was single, wasn't married, had no kids, so I lived in fast food life. Man, I, t I tell you what, Sam's got a really amazing story. Um, what just a, uh, a story of triumph, triumph over adversity, and just the, the courage to keep going. Sam actually had a heart condition when he was younger and woke up from a heart transplant, he was going in for a heart transplant, woke up from the surgery totally blind. Yeah, it's not very often that that happens. Actually, it's uh, never happened before, but it did happen to me. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Like my mom says, you know, what do you do the rest of your life? You got to get up and keep going and uh, make something of your life. So Sam's going to uh, apply the coconut oil to the vegetables here and then smooth it out over the top. It's really going to give us a nice juicy vegetable, really give some flavor to it. So we're going to throw this here in the oven about 350 degrees. We got that preheated. That's the first thing you want to do. You want to get that out of the way so that's getting taken care of while you're cooking the main dish, which will be our low carb chicken parm. And while that's cooking, we can get to the BCTs. So as soon as we're done uh, spreading out this coconut oil, we're going to load it up into the oven. All right, Mr. Tanner, excuse me, I'm going to do. Throw it on in here. Yeah, Sam. So t talk to us about that. How do you address the oven being totally blind? Uh, definitely uh, use the back of my hand so I don't, you know, if I burn it a little, little touch, a little less uh, sensitive on the back of the hand than the front of the hand. Definitely. Then I come up here and uh, program it up to 350. It'll beep when it goes off and I just... uh do. Okay. All right, so here we go. We're getting ready with this chicken, uh, this low-carb chicken parm. Sam right here is chopping up the boneless, skinless chicken breast. T Sam, run us through this. What are you doing right now? All uh, right, right now what I'm doing, I pretty much uh, put them long ways, try to find the middle as best I can with my fingers. I just chop it down the middle. I'm going to take the two pieces, separate them. Excellent. And then put them in this dish that I got in front of me. And I'll take another one. In the middle, come in the middle. Cut in the middle. I've got two spoonfuls of coconut oil, about a quarter stick, a third stick of butter um, on the stove. It's at a low medium. We got it at 3.5 right now. I'm going to drop in the garlic and the onions. These are going to begin to roast. And as soon as that garlic begins to melt, we'll go ahead and throw in that tomato basil, um, the tomato basil sauce. So here we go. I'm coming behind Sam. Sam, how's those, uh, how those breasts look? Uh, pretty good. They're in the pan. I'm just going to lay them out flat and so they're on top of each other. Excellent. So we can kind of cook them evenly. Excellent. Uh, they're pretty much laid out flat. I'm just going to move that around there. I'm actually going to break up this butter. So this stick of butter, see blind guys cook with their hands. So what I'm going to do is squeeze this butter, squeeze this butter out a little bit, make sure it gets a nice, even, so we don't have a stick of butter hanging out for a while. 
come and feel. Always grab the handle first. And you can just gently pour it in here. Get it all in there. Shake it out a little bit. Alright. Okay, Sam, let's on. go ahead and stir that up a little bit. Alright. All right, so we're getting ready to throw these chicken breasts in that Sam sliced up so nicely. We already seasoned the, the sauce to taste, so Sam, go ahead and drop those in the sauce. Alrighty. Now, as Sam's doing that, I just wanted to encourage you guys that if there's any ingredients that you don't like in this that you wanted to add to this low-carb chicken parm, such as mushrooms or black olives, celery, anything you want, go ahead and add. Um, we've got this pretty basic recipe here, and then as, as well as we have those baked vegetables, and then of course the BCTs, which we are getting into next. Sam's chopping up the bacon right now for this absolutely lean original. I'm so excited about this. I just kind of came up with it. I've never heard about it before or anything. And I call it BCTs. And you've heard of like a BLT, like a sandwich, bacon, lettuce, tomato. Well, this is going to be bacon, cheese, tomato. So we're going to be using the tomato slices as kind of like our cracker, our bread, and we're going to be putting cooked bacon on that. So Sam's chopping the bacon for that. We're going to start, we're going to put that in the, uh, in the skillet right now, and then we're going to melt cheese on top of that. We're going to put the bacon on top of the tomato slices, and then before putting it in the oven, we're going to put some shredded cheese on it right here. I got the mozzarella shredded cheese, really gooey, good stuff here. And then, um, that's only going to take a couple minutes. So in the time that it's going to take us to serve everybody, get the chicken parm on the plates, get the vegetables on the plates, we'll be able to melt that cheese and pull these right out of the oven. You don't want to leave them in too long because that's really going to make that tomato mushy and kind of fall apart. I'm up this tomato right here. Well, actually not dicing up, but I'm actually going to cut it in slices here. Yeah. The uh, key is, like I said, just keep the tomato steady, you not straight down. Just kind of... Push away with your knife a little bit more. In case you have a steady hand, remove your fingers. Let's get this here. So we're still doing good on our timer. We're still doing good. Love it. Timer, timing is everything. We got the shredded cheese, we got those tomato sliced up? Yeah, I'm done. They're already on the, the right. tray, waiting for that bacon to get done. So Sam's finishing up putting the bacon on the tomatoes. We've got them laid out here on this cookie sheet or this, this cooking baking sheet. We put a little bit, a very little bit amount of coconut oil down so that they don't stick when it's time to pull them out of the oven. He's going to finish putting that bacon on, then we're going to start putting the cheese on, throw them in the oven, and it's about time to start serving. Alright, I'm almost... Oh, I'm almost done here. Here, got one more to do. Just gonna take it. Then we'll throw some cheese up there, and then we'll be good to throw these in the oven. I'm so excited about the bacon, oh, right. oh, cheese, it's taste so tomatoes. Good. So good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take out the vegetables. We're about ready to serve. We're gonna throw this in. As soon as that cheese melts, we're gonna go ahead and eat this, and we'll show you the uh, the the final product. All right, what I'm doing is just putting the, the rest of the cheese up here. A little pinch of the cheese on it. All right, so we're getting ready to pull out the BCTs. I'm so excited. Before we do, just one little blind quick memo here. I wanted to show off Sam's gloves. I mean, they've got a lot of use to them. I've been cooking for years with them. But uh, they're, um, for the blind, they go up to your forearms so you don't burn anything. You can set anything hot on your forearms to uh, balance it better. So I, I use this to pull my food out of the oven. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and put those up there. Right here, look right here. Just gonna balance them. Just gonna move it around in. Excellent. I'm loving it. Bam, they are right there. So those are the BCTs, bacon cheese tomatoes. Done with our meal. Uh, this is how it looks when we uh, get it all on the plate. Thanks, Sam, for inviting me over. I really appreciate it. I had a great time with you cooking this awesome low carb chicken parm. We got the BCTs, a new favorite around here. And then we've got, of course, our baked vegetables. Thank you guys so much for spending time with two blind chefs in the kitchen. I'm Tanner Gears, absolutelylean.com. And my man, Sam, Sam Griswold, signing out.